Hello everyone, myself Dr. Suresh, Professor of Biochemistry and in this video we will talk about the non-essential sulfur containing amino acid that is cysteine. In our previous videos we have already discussed the essential sulfur containing amino acid methionine and its related disorders. So cysteine is a non-essential sulfur containing and as like methionine it is also a glucogenic. So we have seen from methionine metabolism that from methionine cysteine can be formed, right. So methionine converted to SAM, SAM to SAL, SAM to homocysteine, homocysteine to cystathionine and cystathionine which can be homocysteine in combination with serine to form cystathionine and cystathionine by cystathionase enzyme it can be converted to homocysteine as well cysteine. Right, so you can see methionine converted to homocysteine and the main enzyme homocysteine to homocysteine and making of cysteine two enzymes cystathionine synthase and then cystathionase. So cysteine the fate. So synthesis we have seen then what is the metabolic fate I mean like catabolism of cysteine. So by transamination it can be converted to beta mercaptopyruvate and which is a PLP dependent and it can be converted to pyruvate and enter into gluconeogenesis pathway so that's why it is glucogenic in nature. So if you see the step by step I mean like decarboxylation of cysteine so when you remove the carboxylic group it can form beta mercaptoethanolamine which useful in making of like uh, pantoic acid and cysteine will be forming taurin. So how it will be forming? So by adding oxygen to cysteine it forms cystic acid and by removing carbon dioxide I mean decarboxylation reaction it can be forming taurin. So taurin plus cholyl coa tarocholate which are like bile acids in making they are useful. And glutathione yes what is glutathione? It is a tripeptide gamma glutamyl cysteine glycine. So one of the important amino acid here is cysteine. So for glutathione making also it is useful right. So gamma glutamyl cystinyl glycine. So where it is useful? So amino acid absorption, Mr. Cycle. In our previous videos, we have discussed in uh, absorption of amino acids in uh, especially in renal tubules and in intestine. This Mr. Cycle is important. And reduction reactions like malleal ester state to fumarole ester state, reduction of iron from ferric to ferrous form, uh, so ferrous form. Keep enzymes in active state and RBC membrane integrity. The shape of RBC is maintained by glutathione. Hence, cysteine is a part of glutathione, so it is also uh, taking its uh, credit. Conversion of meth hemoglobin to hemoglobin and detoxification by conjugation of uh, organophosphorus compounds of heavy metals. Glutathione. S transferase. You see here free radical scavenging by glutathione. So superoxide radical converts to hydrogen peroxide and here glutathione can be uh, reduced by glutathione reductase. I mean it can be reduced by glutathione peroxidase. So again this oxidized glutathione can be reduced back to glutathione in reduced form by glutathione reductase. So the donor of here is NADPH plus H plus. The donor of NADPH is glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase. So there is a link this free radical scavenging and uh, HMP shunt. So detoxification by glutathione. So glutathione when combines with the foreign product it forms gamma glutamate cysteine or glycine and with the help of peptidase it converted to cysteine or glutamate plus glycine and then finally it converted to n acetyl cysteine R which easily excreted in the urine. So glutathione decarboxylation and forming of taurine tarocholic acid like they are all bile acids disulfide bridges in proteins yes as it is having a free sulfidyl group it is making and it is involving in uh, making of uh, secondary tertiary and quaternary structures and active sulfate that means as methionine is the donor of methyl group and here the sulfur donor is cysteine okay remember the methyl donor in our body is SAM and the sulfur donor in our body is PAPS. PAPS means phosphoadenosine phosphosulfate and sulfatides of glycosaminoglycons. So heteropolysaccharides and making also cysteine is useful. So you see this is a structure of uh, PAPS. So in not uh, association with the sugar molecule that means glycosaminoglycons. So sulfur and urine to say uh, inorganic sulfates like 80% uh, from proteins uh, cysteine and uh, methionine. Organic sulfate or ethyl uh, sulfate or conjugated sulfate as 10% tryptophan indolistic acid uh, conjugated substances neutral sulfur which is again 10 percent unoxidized sulfur small peptides and cysteine so all these are the sulfur contributing substances which are present in the urine so summary if you see the both methionine and cysteine metabolism because if meth methionine is there cysteine has to be there so what are the products coming from methionine and cysteine are similar because methionine will form cysteine and cysteine will form other substances so in creatine making in neurotransmitters like uh, adrenal, adrenaline or adrenaline making choline formation like indirectly phospholipid formation melatonin like which is a pineal gland hormone to differentiate like circadian rhythm for that it is useful and cysteine 
is a glucogenic in making taurine and glutathione. So, all these functions related to methionine and cysteine. So, cysteinuria, especially to talk about when there is a cysteine excretion in uh, urine. So, if there is a defect in transport of amino acids and renal tubules, what happens? So, this cysteine will be uh, excreting in the urine causing a condition cystinuria. So, cystinuria is one of the inborn errors of metabolism including Gerard's tetrad. Okay. So, it is an autosomal recessive condition. The disease uh, attributed uh, to the deficiency transport of amino acids. So, what are the signs and symptoms? Abnormal excretion of cysteine and to a lesser extent in uh, lysine, ornithine, arginine. So, that means when cysteine is going followed by lysine, ornithine, arginine. So, four amino acids will be excreting and also leads a condition cysteine and lysinuria. Cysteine lysinuria so crystalluria and uh, calculi formation is also there high, high concentration of cysteine in the renal tubules in acidic ph cysteine crystals are formed in urine upset to uropathy which may lead to renal insufficiency so treatment is to increase urinary volume by increasing fluid intake solubility of cysteine is increased by alkalization of urine by giving sodium bicarbonate to detect this cystinuria cyanide nitroproside test it is a screening test where free sulfur hydro group is there which can react with the nitroproside to form cyanide sulfide so the urine is made alkaline with ammonium hydroxide to form sodium cyanide is added cysteine if present it reduces to cysteine so cysteine and cysteine what is the difference cysteine is a substance where there is no free sulfhydryl group but in case of uh, cysteine there is a free sulfhydryl group okay the added sodium nitroproside to get managed to red color complex specific amino acid urea may be confirmed by chromatography so you can make out here the sodium cysteine crystals here so cysteine stones in the urinary bladder which leads to uh, you know lithiosis so cystinosis what is cystinosis cystinosis is a familial disorder characterized by the widespread deposition of cystine crystals in the lysosomes okay so here in the picture you can make out in lysosomes the accumulation of cystine in lysosomes cystine accumulates in liver spleen and bone marrow there is abnormality in transport of cystine which is responsible for its accumulation it is an autosomal recessive condition Microscopy of blood shows cystine crystals in WBCs. Treatment policies are to give adequate fluid so to increase urine output, alkalinization of urine uh, by sodium bicarbonate as well as administration of deep enzalamide. So that's all about non-essential sulfur containing amino acid cysteine and its related disorders. Thanks for watching. Thank you.